Hi guys, Dean here, and today I am going to be doing the Horror of 2020 book tag. So, I believe this was created by Marie McWilliams, and I think she didn't tag me in the original video, but we got chatting, and then she unofficially tagged me. So that's why we're here. There are six questions, I'm going to answer each of those six questions, and then tag some people at the end. So... Question number one, pandemic. Talk about a book involving a disease or an outbreak of some kind. So of course I'm going to have to go with Meat by Dane Cobain. Uh, this is my latest novel. It's a horror novel set on a factory farm called Sunnyvale. And uh, basically there's this disease outbreak. It's uh, obviously very, very relevant. I actually started writing it about 2014, 2015. Um, and it's, it's the book that turned me vegan as well because of what I learned about what goes on at factory farms and that kind of stuff. Um, but also this is why it kind of really gets on my nerves when people say like, oh well Bill Gates predicted the coronavirus in 2015. It's like, mate, I predicted the coronavirus in 2015. That doesn't mean that there's like some shady New World Order shit going on. Question number two, politics. Tell me about your favourite dystopic novel. Probably The Handmaid's Tale, because I always say I do slightly prefer that over 1984, which is probably my second favourite. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale was also my book of the year in 2018, I want to say. Uh, so, the best book of like 300 odd books I read that year. It's got to be a good one. Question number three. Hey, tell us about a book that you hated. Which one? Oh, there are loads. Um, I mean, the one that's springing to mind is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon. Uh, I know it's a booktube darling and all that, which is why I picked it up. I actually only got to the end of it because it was a buddy read and I was forcing myself to go through it. There's this really creepy scene in it where the kid, who's like 13, who's the main character, lets himself, he basically breaks into his girlfriend's house, goes up to her bedroom, she's having a good dicking down from her boyfriend and he gets really upset about it and he's like how dare you do this to me and it's like mate you broke into her house and then his dad had suggested to him he's like you know what would be really good you could break them up and it's like they're engaged to be married mate why are you telling your kids to break them up and while you're at it tell them to stop breaking into people's houses while they're nobbing Question number four, end times. Tell me about a book about an outright apocalypse. I guess The Stand, this was what I was thinking maybe for the number one about the pandemic, but the pandemic in The Stand is much more deadly than the coronavirus pandemic. I think it killed like 99.8% of people or something like that. And actually that leads to some really interesting scenarios. I remember like somebody dies because they get accidentally stuck inside a meat fridge because there's no one there to let them out. And people are dying of heart attacks and stuff because there are no emergency services. So um, I thought it was really well done and really well thought out. Not only like what would happen to society when that many people died, but also then showing the rebuild of society afterwards I thought was very well done. Um, I've only ever read the uncut edition though. Question number five, crime. Tell me about one of your favorite books involving a crime. Okay, with favorite books involving a crime. So if it's gotta be specifically one of my favorite books, Probably The Valley of Fear by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. I think it's my favorite Sherlock Holmes book. Um, and that is the one where they, the basically it's sort of told in two halves. And for half of it, Holmes kind of solves the story at the end of the first half, he, he solves the mystery. And then we learn the backstory of it all in the second half. And I actually found that really interesting. But also um, it takes us to America and we see like the Pinkerton Detective Agency, uh, the Mormons in Salt Lake City and all that stuff. So. Yeah, really good one. Question number six, hope. Tell me about a book you hope is going to be good. Well, I guess it's whatever I'm gonna read next, which I currently have Spike Milligan, The Looney, an Irish fantasy. Okay, so it's Spike Milligan's possibly only novel, I think. Um, I don't know whether it is gonna be good. I don't know how much I hope, because hope implies a certain amount of faith as well, right? And I don't think it is gonna be particularly good. I think it's gonna be okay. Um, but I'm currently kind of at that stage in my TBR, so I think I'm down to 115 on my currently reading list. Uh, I was down to about 42 at some point last year, so that's really annoying. Uh, I won this big job lot on eBay, so I have loads of these old like sci-fi books. So I've been reading a lot of like John Wyndham and Isaac Asimov and Frank Herbert and stuff. Um, and so because of that, like all the books I have left, I've kind of read all the ones I think I'm going to really enjoy. Apart from I do have The Bizarre of Bad Dreams actually by Stephen King over there, which I'm saving because I, it's my tradition that every time I go traveling or spend any amount of time like on public transport, 
uh, I take the longest unread book with me and usually that's a Stephen King book so my plan was I was going to be reading that over Christmas when I went to visit my mum but then we had another national lockdown here in the UK our great area got upgraded you, you don't want to know about it basically I couldn't go home to see her so um, I'm saving it till I can next go and visit my mum which you would think should be soon because she's had the vaccine because she's working on the front line they need to relax the rules for that surely anyway that's what I made of the horror of 2020 tag. I'm going to tag some people. Uh, feel free to not do it, especially if you've already done it. But I'm going to tag uh, Jason's Weird Reads, Charlie Heathcote, Spinelli Speaks. I'm going to tag, um, what's her name? Hey Little Thrifter, but I can't remember what her new channel name is now. But I'm going to tag her anyway. I am going to tag Todd the Librarian as always. I'm going to tag, uh, I ain't finna read that. I'm going to tag Cats and Camera and one more. I'm going to tag Mary Ann Moronsky. So there we have it. That's what I made of the horror of 2020 book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this tag. Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And we'll see you soon with another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.